All right, guys, I'm live. This did not work. So we're going to use this over here. What's up, Brandon? We're going a different direction. All right, guys, get yourself set with a yoga mat. If you happen to have a foam roller, please grab it. If you have a soccer ball, if you have a softball, if you have a baseball, really anything that we could possibly use as a foam roller. If you do not have a foam roller, we're gonna briefly use that just in the very beginning. All right. So get that set, maybe get some good music in the background, something light, something relaxing. Y'all are mostly finishing your day. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Jordan. Debbie. Beautiful. We'll wait just a few more moments and then we'll get going. Beautiful. Nope, that's not gonna work. Had an idea. skull kind of getting some relief on that foam roller 
and then roll forward, tuck your chin. Roll back onto that foam roller. And then same thing, tuck your chin. Let's go ahead and do about four more of these. And again, if you're using other tools, you can use a football, you can use it with other balls, sports balls. If you're sitting up and you have something smaller in your hand, you can actually rub it more manually up and down that whole area. Just make sure, guys, that you're not hitting the spine. So you can hit all the muscles right here in the neck, but do not actually go on the spine. And let's get one more. Nice, from here, guys. Go ahead and still stay melted into the ground with the lower half of your body, but slowly take your head side to side like you're saying no. Nose are healthy. So once in a while, you gotta say it. We're gonna shake your head no, we're gonna practice that. Especially for my fellow people, people pleasers, sometimes you just gotta, just, you gotta say it. So keep shaking no. Try to press back into it a little bit more. Let's get one more in each direction. And again, still working it out if you have something more manual in your hand. We're gonna go ahead and lift our upper bodies up. Remove your hair. Just like you're about to do a bicycle or some sort of crunch and glute bridge. Get your heels down, stick them down. We're gonna crunch our abs up to the sky. Get about half that on the back and then back towards our neck. Up on the back, crunch up. Use those heels as a pivoting point. Go back into it. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and rock it out. If some of you haven't caught an earlier mobility session where I did use some foam rolling, if you wanna get deeper into some of those smaller muscles in between your shoulder blades, you may want to take your hands from here from prisoner style into that actual crunching style. So more like you're about to go down a water roller coaster. Keep your hands in nice and close. So still back and forth. Back and forth. Team, now I want you to go ahead and pause towards the center of your back. So sitting up nice and tall, you kind of feel the bottom of your ribcage. I want you to place whatever you're using underneath that section. Water slide position, side to side, side to side. Try to relax your neck now. Move through your heels. And once you get about two to four more of those, let's go ahead and pause in that position. Extend your legs, make them as heavy as you can. From here, lay your body back over and open up your arms like you're doing a touchdown position. Let's go ahead and focus on a deep inhale, slowly moving that breath in for about five seconds. Try to pause a second and then slowly back out for six seconds. Let's get two deep breaths like that right here. One more, five seconds in. Pause, six seconds out. If you felt any numbness or weird feelings in the fingers, guys, you can always release that stretch and go more to a dead man's pose. If that felt comfortable, guys, that is one of the best things you can do for your back every single day. All right, I'm gonna move on so that way y'all can get more um, body. Hey, Maria. Hey, how many? Happy birthday, Maria. We can get more body weight and everybody can join in. So you can put that stuff over to the side. I'm gonna get this set up. Beautiful. 
All right, guys, first and foremost, we're gonna stretch out that spine a little bit more. Go ahead and hug your knees into your chest. We're gonna rock back and forth. The more rock you get, the better you release your spine. So hug those knees in, try to get a full rock going eventually. We're just gonna move, rock and roll a little bit. You can relax your chin. Maybe if you start to roll back even further, you can tuck it a little bit more. Full back rolls. Just keep going with it. Let's get two more. Big roll. Should feel really good. Whew. All right, now that we're loosened up a little bit, let's go ahead and take those same knees in, hug them in, and channel our army on the ground deck. Let's rock it out side to side. Relax that low back. You can even relax your neck if you're feeling too much tension there. Remember, this is your stretch mobility session. So we're gonna attack some tightness. Take it down. And just gently move through our bodies. I know there's a lot of stress going on with everything, but it's time to be mindful right now and just focus in on what's going on in our bodies. If you feel anything that is feeling like it's pushing you too far, pay attention to it. Don't push it. I'll give you variations of things. All right, and let's go ahead and move into the next movement. So we're going to start in a prayers pose. And a lot of you are probably wondering what's the difference between prayers pose and child's pose. Prayers pose, your feet are wider, about hip length apart. Child's pose, you have your toes in. Let's go ahead and feel out which one feels better for us today. So sit back into your heels. Again, I'm going prayers pose. Walk those hands forward. We're going to be stretching out our lats, our upper body. If you want to kind of what's known as shifting side to side, it's called oscillation, you can. So a little hip shift, side to side, you can do that in child's pose, you can do that in prayer's pose. Let's go ahead and really shift your hips into the heels in whichever variation. Walk those hands forward. We're going to take that forehead to the ground. You can still shift your hips side to side. Get that extra stretch in here, team. And you can even play around with it. Let's say we've been holding this pose now. You can go ahead and switch it and try a child's pose for the last little remainder. Ten seconds here, guys. hands up and over to the left side, the corner of your mat, shift your hips into that right heel. So let's get that good side body stretch. Team, try to reach through those fingertips as much as you can. Really push that hip in the opposite direction. Deep inhales, pause with it, slow, longer exhales out. Let's 
get one more deep stretch there. Deep inhale, reach it further, extend, lengthen, and walk it over to the other side. So let's slowly, gently walk it over, opposite side, shift those hips back. So if you're following me, right side, corner of the mat, push your hips to the left. Good team. Keep holding it. Keep extending through those fingers. Pushing back into that opposite hip. Remember that breath work, guys. Longer exhales. Let's get one more deep inhale. Pause. Slow exhale out. For whatever reason, if you're feeling some low back pain, I want you to bring it back to center. Take a few deep breaths in that child's pose or prayer's pose. And relax it. Beautiful. All right, team, we're gonna go into a down dog cobra position. Take those legs down. Extend and get as tall as you can through that upper spine. Make sure you're not a turtle. I wanna see your necks. So get as tall as you can. Let's take one more deep inhale. And actually drop your body back down. Maybe relax those ankles, play around. You can either extend them Press your ankles down, or you can flex them. Keep your ankles off the ground. Let's go ahead and inhale. Exhale, push up. And we're going to try a different variation. So now we're going to add a little twist in here. We're going to look back towards our right heel. Center ourselves out. Look back towards your left heel. So add a little twist in this position. Still lengthening, getting as tall as you can. Chest forward, peel those shoulders back. Look to one side. Bring it back to center, nice deep inhale. Exhale, look towards the opposite ankle. Let's go ahead and practice two more per side. Team, one more per side. Now that's really quick. Just send it back to a down dog. Lengthen. Drop down to those knees. Go back into prayer's pose or child's pose. Take a deep breath right here or two. yourself up. So we're going to have to get into a quadruped position. So that tabletop position, which will be wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. From here, guys, we're going to open, reach towards the ceiling, exhale, close our chest, sit back with it. So we're going to thread the needle, but I want us to first do some active twists. Start off opening nice and high, reach for the sky. Try to keep those hips somewhat still. Exhale, reach through as far as you can. Let's go ahead and get one more. Nice deep reach, big twist, hopefully further than the first two. Exhale, reach through all the way, and let's sit our butts into our heels, reach forward. Hang 
out in this position. Team of forever, like for whatever reason, if you're getting tired of the, that child's pose variation, you can always extend your legs, spread them out a little bit. That's perfectly fine. Relax that low back if you are in this position. Really sink your chest down to the ground. Let's go ahead and try to reach through our fingertips on both ends. switch sides. So now team, let's go ahead. We did a full minute and a half, so 90 seconds. We're going to do this. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Reach up, nice and tall. Exhale, reach through. Two more times, trying to open up that chest as far as we can. Exhale, I got a little pop, a little adjustment in there. Let's get one more big exhale. Try to reach as far as you can. Get tall, get long. Exhale, reach it through and pause. Sitting back in those heels, reaching forward. Or finding yourself laying on the ground with the same arm position, either way. Breathe, guys. Deep inhales. Pause, longer exhales out. Let's try to get in through the nose. Pause, out through the mouth. to the fingertips. Big reach, big reach. Like you're a basketball player reaching for the ball. And relax. All right, team. We are going to possibly need some padding. Up to you. You can either roll up your yoga mat or you can just grab a little chair pillow since those are handy dandy to us right now. We're gonna go ahead, get one knee on that pillow. Take one step forward with it. I want you to rock your hips forward. So squeeze that glute on the opposite side of the leg that's in front of you. And then flex your foot in the back and just hang out here to start. team what this is doing is this is starting to work into the hip flexor you should start to feel that you should start maybe even feeling into the quad if you're not feeling enough of that you can lean back like bad joe a little bit but again still make sure that you're keeping that hip tucked as you're doing so. Keep that foot flexed. Keep your chest tall, guys. We're gonna hang out here for another 15 seconds. Try to relax your shoulders in this stretch. working on that upper back, kind of our core a little bit. We're going to add a twist in this pose. So now you're going to take your hand to the back of your head, reach for that elbow to knee, and then actually open your chest back, actually pressing out on your knee. So again, connect, get that little twist in, that little rotation, and then push that knee out, still tucking the hip, Rotate that spine. Team, make sure you are lengthening and being as tall as possible. Let's 
let's go ahead and continue. What helps guys is when you are doing any sort of stretch to go a little bit further within your pose, work with your exhale. Your exhale is usually when the muscles relax a little bit more, you mentally relax a little bit more and you can go a little further. Let's go ahead and get one more on the side. Nice team, good big twist. Let's switch it up. So if you felt uncomfortable, grab that pillow for this knee. Let's get our knee nice and comfy. Take that big step forward. Rock those hips forward. Squeeze that glute and then flex that foot behind you. So toes on the ground, ankle is at that 90 degree angle. Let's get nice and tall. Try to relax your shoulders. Just focus in on your breath. If you're feeling that stretch, it feels super good on the hip, feels super good on your quad, and you're comfortable with it, you can hang out there. If you want a little bit more, lean your shoulders back. Still remain tall, still keep that hip flexed forward. Team. All right, let's go ahead and add that little twist to it. So we're going to, remember, open that hip, take that elbow to the opposite knee, and then push that knee, drive it away from your body, twist away. So again, we'll get about five of these. Crunch that elbow to the knee, exhale, twist. be feeling multiple things you should be feeling your upper body a good twist of even a little bit of your low spine and then definitely an opener to the hip let's go ahead and gently move through two more one more team deep exhale rotate big time into that child's pose, go into that prayer's pose, but I'm going to keep rolling with it. So, reset yourself, and we're actually going to find ourselves back on the mats. We're going to work a few things at once. So, work that delt, work that chest, also low spine. We're going to do what's known as a static scorpion tail. So we're gonna lift the right leg up nice and tall. Get into the capital T with your upper body. Push that foot into the ground. And team, you can take this free hand and prop it up near your chest. From here, you guys, I really need you to try to press your knee to the sky and try to open that hip flexor a little bit more. A lot of stuff is connected in the hip. We wanna open that up and try to stretch it out so that way we can relieve some of that low back pain if you have it. A lot of all of this is very much connected. Work with that breath, guys. Again, if this is too much, you do not have to force yourself and keep pushing. Just gently hang out here. Let's go ahead and press that 
knee up a little higher. Open that hip. Be gentle with your body, guys. Don't force anything that doesn't feel right. Let's switch that. So I got a little tingling on that. I had my hand out right here. I might have to pull it down a little bit further on this side. All right, so lift that opposite leg up, pull it over. You do not have to put your heel to your hand, but if you felt any tingling like I did, you could take your hand a little bit lower, squeeze your hands in, relax those fingers, kind of like you're gripping like a baseball, just relax them. You're gripping a dumbbell. That way you don't get as much tingling. And then again, take that free hand, open free hand to your shoulder and just relax gentle in this position. Don't move your head around guys, just relax. Try to lift that knee to the sky, really open that hip flexor. You should feel it deep within your hip. Again, remember, that's only gonna help your low back.
Get some extra movement in here. Still hugging it in, feel that low back, keeping this leg grounded. Kind of like we all are in quarantine, we're grounded. The government got it. All right, guys, so next, let's go ahead and get that good low back twist. Have the opposite hand around the outside of the knee. Take that leg over, open that chest. Make sure you're staying nice and long, nice and tall through this spine. Try to drop those shoulder blades to the ground. Big twist. Do yourself a favor if you have a lot of mental stuff clogging up right now. Working its way in. Really focus in on that deep inhale through the nose. Pause, slow exhale out. That'll help with some of that mental clutter. Stay in the moment, guys. Let's get one more big twist. Nice, and again, work it out side to side. Hugging those knees in, relaxing that back. And actually take your head to the ground, guys. We're gonna do the same idea, except we're gonna take our arms out, and now we're gonna go side to side with our shins. So you can keep feet on the ground or off the ground, whichever way is fine. You can keep them on the ground and just windshield wiper, or you could take them off. Whichever way is giving you more of a stretch, please do so. Let's take our heads over in the opposite direction of our knees. <sighs> Team, try to tuck those hips down in the center before you rock the knees. Still working with your exhales, guys. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get four more. Stay long through that spine.
all this is connected in the posterior chain. We need to stretch it out. Keep lifting up, guys. Or try to press your shoulders down, whichever way. Ten seconds deep inhale. <sighs> Big exhale. And let's switch legs. So let's go ahead and do the same thing other side. Might notice the difference between sides. Let's keep the knee as straight as possible. Reach for those toes. Lift the ankle if you're on the ground. Let's start here. Might even feel that hip opening up a little bit. I know I'm feeling it a lot more in this side than I did the other side. Variation, you can always ground that leg down, grab the foot here, just make sure the knee stays locked. And we can work that ankle, guys. Keep pulling those shoulders down if you're on the ground. Push it a little bit further, guys. Deep breath. Beautiful. We're going to do the opposite of that for the hip and actually open it up to the side. So if you ever did soccer, this is a good soccer stretch. Opening that hip flexor, take that foot over and try to lean those shoulders back. If that is not feeling right, it feels like it's pushing too far, let's gently pull ourselves on the ground and go into a quad stretch. Grab that ankle, extend through the spine and just hang out there. If you're here, let's hang out just a little bit longer before we switch. If you want more of a hip stretch, push the heel away from your body. You should feel a lot more in the, uh, it's called the latte muscle. It's called that because it's called the um, tensor fasciae latte. like Latin latte, so Starbucks muscle. And let's go ahead and slowly come on up from there. Manually take that leg in. You don't need to be hurting yourself. Grabbing either the ankle, I'm gonna go for the modification first, this variation, or taking that heel away, leaning yourself back. stretch. And team, we're going to finish it off. Pulling that leg in, extending those legs, finding your spot on the ground, relaxing those hands. Letting your feet get heavy, your legs get heavy, your hips, your abdomen, your shoulders, your head, and your mind. Just relax. This is known as the dead man's pose, but what we're going to do to finish this off is focus on some breathing.
the time, really dial in the mind on that nice deep inhale through the nose, pause, slow exhale out. Feel that rib cage expand. If you want to take your hands into your chest, feel that rib cage opening, do it. That's your diaphragm. That's where you're feeling your breath. So feel your ribs expand with the inhale and then pull in as you exhale. Let's get two more right here. One more. Slowly send them on up. That was a longer mobility session than we normally get to do or have time for. Um, hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you'll be back for John's Mobility on Thursday. All right, bye guys.